Hi, I see that uh, sometimes people ask whether it's possible to snap um, column widths in InDesign to fit the text, either to make the column widths f uh, as snug as possible or to expand them if there's overset text. So amazingly, the answer is no. There is no built-in way in InDesign of doing this. In Excel, it's very easy. You just double-click here. You would double click if this was Excel, you double click here and it would snap things. But in InDesign, that's not possible. However, um, I did write a script that uh, makes this possible. Um, it is a commercial script, so it does come with a small price. But if you're doing tables, it's probably a good thing to have. Let me show you how it works. It's really simple. So let's say I'm going to make this uh, column just wider. And you'll notice it also works when you've got spam columns and things, you know, cells that are spanning over several columns. So I've made this column here too wide. Um, I'll open the scripts panel in InDesign here. It's called fit column to width. I'll just reduce that a bit. So you just select, uh, put your cursor in a column or select a cell or some cells and it will deal with all this column. Double click it to run. And there you go, it makes it makes the uh, width of the column fit the text. Now you may be wondering whether in fact there's plenty of spacing in the margins. That's just because um, there's inset spacing de defined right and left for these cells. So let me select all the table and I'm going to set the inset to zero, a left, right and left. So now things can be snug um, against the lines. Um, and I'll run the script again. There you go, it's made it narrower and it's f snapped this this uh, cell to this column width to the text. Let's try and do that in the country list here. Just putting my cursor, indicate you just need to indicate to the script which column you're, you're running it, you want to run it on. Um, so let's say this one and run the script, double click it to run, and there you go, it's snapped the width. Why not more? Because down here we've got this which is um, snapped to the width here. So that's as narrow as it can be. And it works also the other way around. Let's say I've got a column here which is so narrow that in fact, let me just switch modes here, you can see that there's overset, there's some overset cells that are not displaying because they're too narrow. So just put your cursor somewhere in this column and run the script and it makes it uh, just wide enough to fit the widest number. Um, and if you're wondering, let's you can also actually run it on multiple columns. So you have made all of this too wide. Um, and if I just select the whole table or all the columns or some of the columns, let's say. So just, you know, I'm indicating that I want these columns and I double click. It snaps all the columns here. Now, uh, so that's it basically. That's the video that I wanted to show you. and. Get in touch with me if you're interested in trying out the script. I'll give you the price. It's not actually on the ID Extras website yet. It will probably be uh, available as part of um, the uh, script that uh, centers numbers and tables, which because it's all kind of table, I've got a bunch of scripts there which are all table-based um, utilities, and this is going to be one of them. Uh, now I'm just, so that's, I hope you find that interesting. I do want to carry on and show you a few more things about how the script works because it's, a little bit interesting. In this case, in this column, clearly there seems to be a lot of space. Oh, sorry. But because of the uh, heading row, then that's as narrow as it can make it. So it can't actually make it narrower. Um, now, what that you might be wondering, what does it do if you've got a column like this? I'm going to make this a bit narrower. So there's not actually any overset in this column. Uh, but the words are breaking over two lines. This is a single cell with two lines. Will it make this turn this into one line? So if I double click, you'll see that it doesn't, it virtually doesn't do anything. It made it a little bit wider. Why? Um, I think because of uh, Argentina is actually being squished. It's being given uh, justification settings here, which are um, quite lenient. And so to avoid having to use these, it's given it its natural space. So that's a little bit wider, fine. Um, just make it smaller so we can see a bit more of the table here. 
um, but it's not going to turn this into single lines because the way the the way the uh, script here works is it checks a column. If there's overset cells, then it will do something. Uh, if there's extra space that can be squeezed, if the column can be made narrow, it will do it, so long as it doesn't change any line breaks. But if it's going to change line breaks, it's not going to do that. It's not going to change your line breaks for you. So here there's nothing for it to do. Uh, if I were to make it very wide, then obviously I run it and it will make it narrower, but it won't make it so narrow that it'll be multiple lines because that's changing the line break. So it tries to keep the line breaks that you've got intact and work with that. So let's say I have to add some text here. See, InDesign has this thing where it can vertically, it does increase the column to match. But if I've got kind of a, just a paragraph here and I run this, fit column, it's, what did it do? It didn't do anything really. Um, it just fitted a bit. But if I make this wider, and now I run it, so again, it's not going to do anything. It's not done anything here because this is as narrow as it can be and it's not going to break your lines differently. So um, that's pretty much it. That's the script. It's pretty useful. I think it's fairly powerful. As you can see, it works with um, it works with um, these kind of span headings and stuff. Also, it works quite nicely with um, the lines in the in the column. So let's say clear all. I'll select this border. I'll make this kind of really wide, a bit ridiculously wide, just so we see the effect. Ten points. So this has got a very thick border. And now if I click on in this column to fit it, so yeah, it is taking into account the border. How about this one? Click on it to fit. And again, it's taking the border into account. Well, here this makes it wider anyway. But if I were to increase the, if I let's make this number longer, so it's now overset, and click the script, run the script, so it takes these strange and different borders into account. So I hope you find that found that useful. Get in touch, maybe leave a comment, um, if you're interested in trying out the script. I hope very soon it will be the script will be available. Uh, for like general purchase on the ID Extras website. If you need this, urgently get in touch. Thanks very much for watching. See you later. Bye bye.